There's about 80 million, 180 million people worldwide struggling with fertility, so it's a big problem. And the most important thing is obviously uh, the women's age. And um, to understand the whole problem and how bad it is, we have to know that uh, what is a fertility problem. That is when you've been trying to have a baby, a clinical pregnancy over a period of 12 months, uh, through unprotected intercourse and nothing is happening and we can divide that up into primary and secondary. Primary is when you've never achieved a pregnancy before and secondary is when you've managed to fall pregnant but lost the pregnancy. So obviously there's different causes for both and an easy number to remember is one in seven patients in the western world struggle with fertility Whereas, whereas in the developing countries, and South Africa should fall under that, it's, it's one in four. You must go to yes course because uh, in, in being here, it was much easier for you to control things and uh, to put this whole thing together it has been amazing. And so in three months, this is what we can do with the building. Imagine what we can do with the wall. So the seriousness of what we're doing here, I think, can be felt by just the present um, so, again, a very big thank you to John and to all Corvus' staff and to all our staff and to Lynn and everyone that's really been committed to this project. And again, the reason behind it is that we, we want to try and work the recipe together with Corvus in Natal um, because we really believe that, firstly, this is not a one-man team. You can't do this on your own. It's very really difficult. We need a lot of backroom staff to, to run it and to get the results. And at the end of the day, the reason for this is for you as the patient and, and take it from whence it comes. So the, the practice model is quite unique and uh, it's, it's a commitment to the highest level of medical care and it's resulted in the reason why we have continued to grow and the success of our organisation. We um, starting off in 1985, really had very few staff uh, 2006, we moved to the new unit, which is in uh, Morningside, which is in the centre of the new CBD. Uh, we're very close to Investing Bank, uh, McDonald's on the corner of Mooney and Preston. And um, at the end of the day, when we moved in 2006, we were exactly six staff members and three doctors, so we were nine people. That unit has now grown to uh, 55 staff members and five doctors. And uh, the reason why the unit has grown is because of and the fact that uh, one spends a lot of time individually with the patient and not sort of just offering a cookie cutter one size fits all. Um, I lecture to the staff and I always say you know, that we're in the hospitality industry, we're not in the medical industry. Um, and it's very important that the journey that you have is, is a very good journey. Um, so we actively uh, treat, uh, teach uh, embryologists, we teach nurses, we teach undergrads, we teach postgrads. And that's important for us to keep ourselves at a level where we can do that because otherwise you're just going to stay in and ultimately just offer a, a kind of cookie cutter one size fits all you know because each patient has their own set of, of problems and one needs to address it at that level and there's no one quick fix for anybody so through our commitment to quality patient care medical research that we do ongoing and education we are recognized as a worldwide leader in 